the incomes of A and B are in the ratio of 3 to 2 and their expenditures in the ratio of 5 to 3. If each saves $1,500, uh, then B's income is. So from the given information, we have to find the income of B. Okay, here the incomes of A and B are in the ratio 3 to 2. Okay, from the terms of the ratio 3 and 2, if I want to get the income of A and income of B, I have to multiply both the terms of the ratio by the same non-zero number, say X. So to get A's income, I have to multiply the first term of the ratio 3 by X. And to get B's income, I have to multiply the second term of the ratio by X, I get 2X. Okay, now I got A's income and B's income. The target of the question is to find B's income. Once I get the value of X, if it is multiplied by 2, I'll be getting the income of B. Okay, now my aim is to find the value of X using the other information. Okay, here uh, we know A's income and B's income in terms of X, that is 3X and 2X. And uh, if E says $1,500, that is A is uh, saving $1,500 and uh, B is saving $1,500. Okay, from A's income 3X, I subtract the savings for $1,500. What does this one represent? So this is 3X represents the income of A and this is a savings of A. So if I subtract savings from income, that will give you the expenditure. This is expenditure of A. The same way I can find the expenditure of B. That is already, you know, the income of B. That is uh, 2X from the income of B, I subtract uh, B's uh, savings, that is 1,500. So it gives me the expenditure of B. Okay, now I know the expenditure of A and expenditure of uh, B. Now I'm going to do ratio between uh, the expenditures of A and B. So that is uh, 3X negative 1,500 to 2X negative 1,500. So this is the ratio of uh, uh, expenditures of A and B. But the expenditure ratio is already given in the question, that is 5 to 3. So this expenditure ratio can be equated to 5 to 3. Okay, to solve for x, what we can do is we can write uh, these two ratios as fractions. So I'm getting 3x negative 1,500 over 2x negative 1,500 uh, is equal to 5 over 3. Okay, now we can do cross multiplication. Then I'm getting 3 times 3x negative 1,500 is equal to 5 times 2x negative 1,500. Okay, now I can distribute uh, the 3 to 3x and 1,500. Then I'll be getting 9x negative. 3 times 1,500 is 4,500. So 5 times 2x is 10x. Uh, if I distribute 5, this one negative 1,500, it will be negative 7,500. Okay, my aim is to solve for x, but here the variable x appears on both sides of the equation. Uh, we can get rid of the variable on one of the sides. I subtract 9x from both sides to get rid of the 9x on the left side. So when I subtract 9x from both sides, this 9x, uh, positive 9x, negative 9x will cancel out. I get 4,500 is equal to 10x negative 9x will be just x negative 7500. Okay, to isolate x, I have to get rid of this negative 7500. For that, I'm adding 7500 to both sides. So this one, this one will cancel out. When I simplify negative 4500 and positive 7500, it will be positive 3000. On the right side, you just have x. So I got the value of x, that is 3000. Okay, to get the income of b, I have to plug in x is equal to 3000. Uh, into 2x because 2x uh, refers to income income of b. So 2 times the value of x is 3000. 2 times 3000 is 6000. So b's income is $6,000. So the correct answer choice is option A.